So my work is about pigeon raising. It's called Lost Pigeons, so it's mostly about the, the lost pigeons that are lost in the races. And I got into that when I first arrived to Ghent. I had never heard about the whole sport. And it was really fascinating how some birds can be very expensive. They're sold for like 250,000 euro. And also I then found out that there are many birds that, that are not valuable at all, that are kind of leftovers. So I started to look into this kind of economy of the whole thing and, and talk to fanciers about lost pigeons and, and their pigeons in general, how to estimate value of a pigeon and so on. So my work is, is in the city, it's going to be posters announcing lost pigeons. So the poster has, uh, I'm collecting the information of the pigeons that are lost now, of as many as I can get. And then the poster will have a drawing of the pigeon, the number of the pigeon, it will say lost. And then um, there will be a phone number. And it's not a phone number to call if you find the pigeon, it's if, if you see this poster, please call. So it's more like a phone number to explain what's going on. And when you call that number, you will hear this audio piece that we just recorded. And it's a conversation between a fancier and me, and it has to do with the lost pigeon that is very valuable in many ways. And then also we discuss the, the pigeons that are not so valuable and the whole kind of economy. You, uh, you found a pigeon? No, I didn't find your pigeon, but I, I heard you lost one. One of your birds didn't come back from Barcelona. Yes, yes that's true. I lost my best bird. Yeah, it was a really good one, right? Yes, for three years he was the best. The, the audio is based on the interviews I did already. So I met many fanciers and from different levels of uh, very commercial ones and more like hobbyists. And I made many interviews, but but those recordings are quite messy. So so this is like, uh, yeah, based on those, a new kind of conversation.